Hi and welcome to my channel Sweets and Beyond. My name is Aida and these are the hands of the sofrito video. So now you see my face. Today we're going to be making arroz con habichuelas y carne frita which is rice and beans and fried pork chunks. Also I'm going to be making some fresh green beans with garlic and pepper. So now okay. we're going to be so starting with started. the rice and beans. We're going to be using canola oil, oregano, cumin, sazon nor, which I'm going to show you in a little bit. We're going to be using two cubes of sofrito. If you have seen my previous video, when I make my sofrito, I freeze it in little cubes, which is easier to use. These are small red kidney beans with the liquid and two cups of rice. So we're going to start now. I'm going to be using a caldero, which is an ironclad pot typically used in Puerto Rican cooking. I'm going to add about two tablespoons of, of, of canola oil to it. And don't put it away because we're going to use it for the fried pork chunks. This is the two, cu two cubes of sofrito and these are two um, garlic cloves that I had minced. I like to chop it up See, the sofrito is already cooked. So now we're going to add the one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of cumin, and one package of the sazon nor. This is the sazon nor that I use. It says sazon con culantre, culantro y achote, seasoning with coriander and anato. If you can't find this, you can, you can use the Goya sazon, but I prefer this one because it gives it a nice color. So we dump it in. As you can see, it acts like the oil, it's already turned color, the nice orange color we want. And now the next step is to dump in, oh wait, I left a little in there. Now we, dump, we put in the two cups of rice. And we will stir this to coat. So now I am sauteing the rice. And you see, it's all coated with the sofrito and the sazon. Now I'm going to put in the can of, it says, frijoles colorado cortos, small red beans. A whole can with the liquid. Now we're going to put in the water. I use the same can where I got the beans. This is 15.5 ounces. I filled it to the top, so almost almost two cups of water. I forgot to mention that you you will put your stove, my stove goes from low to high, from zero to 10. This is right now at a seven. I'm looking at it and I think it needs a little bit more water. It should be two fingers from the bottom of the rice to the top of water. So I, I think I need a little bit more water. Okay, so right here I'm adding maybe a quarter of a cup more. So from, if you can see, the rice. It is barely, it never works. People in you on YouTube, they say that when you put in the spoon 
and it stands straight up. Maybe I'm using a big spoon. People in, <laughs> on YouTube usually use really small spoons. I'm using a big spoon. But it doesn't work for me. It doesn't work for me. So now we're going to add a little bit of salt to it. I would say maybe like half a teaspoon to a teaspoon is to your liking. Sorry. It's noisy. Puerto Rican women are very noisy when they cook. So I'm going to try it a little bit to make sure it is nice and seasoned. It needs a little bit more salt. So now we will let it sit here at 7 until it starts boiling. Once it starts boiling and there is more rice than water, it, it'll look it'll look almost absorbed, but you could you have to be able to move the rice. It'll be like three or four minutes until it starts boiling and most of the water has been absorbed. So while so the rice is cooking, right we're gonna start making the fried pork chunks. If you can see, I had already seasoned them. It's just pieces of pork which I season with adobo and meat tenderizer. Make sure that the meat tenderizer that you use is seasoning free. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the same canola oil. I'm going to put maybe like half a cup of canola oil in the pot. With the stove off I'm going to place the pork chunks in the pan. Now I'm going to cover them and I'm going to put it at 6. Remember my stove is from 0 to 10 so I put it at a six, so a medium, a little bit higher than medium. So we're going to leave it there at six and it'll slowly cook and steam at the same time. So it has been about three, four minutes and if you can see my rice, is almost absorbed. There is more rice and water. So now we stir it from the bottom up and we turn it. Now you're going to lower it. I had it at a seven so we're going to put it at a two and a half, almost three. And we're going to put the lid on it. And it's going to stay there for ten minutes. At the end of ten minutes I like to open it, stir it, shut it back up and cook it some more. My rice and beans are cooking already. The pork chunks are here ready. So now I'm going to start with the green beans. Here I have maybe two tablespoons of olive oil, one clove of garlic, and um, freshly cracked pepper. These are my fresh green beans. I just cut off the ends of it. So we're going to wait until this heats up a little and then we're going to put in our green beans. I'm 
going to sprinkle a little salt. And we're going to put, this is a half a cup measurement, but as you can see, it doesn't have the whole cup, half a cup. I'm just going to pour a little bit of water on it. And put the lid on it so it can steam. And as you can see, my pork chunks are almost ready. They don't look too good right now, but they will as soon as all the liquid evaporates and they start browning. As you can see, this little piece here is starting to brown a little. But keep the lid on it. This way they'll be nice and tender. Do you want to see my rice? Let's see the rice. Let's speak at the rice. It's been 10 minutes. We're from the bottom up. It's almost ready. It has been about 10 minutes. And as you can see, we get the meat is already starting to brown. So that's what we want to see. The little brown pieces because fried pork chunks, nice and brown. So as I have here a little bowl with a paper towel so it could soak up, soak up a little of the oil. And I just go picking out the, the pieces that are already nice and brown so this way the other pieces will brown faster because they have more room. So I'm finishing browning up the fried pork chunks. The rice and beans are ready, the green beans are ready. So I'm going to finish up taking all the pork chunks out of the oil and I'm going to show you the finished product. So here we have our finished product. We have the rice and beans, the arroz con habichuelas, the fresh garlic, the fresh green beans with garlic and pepper. Here we have the fried pork chunks. And always, every Puerto Rican meal, you have to have avocado. So let me show you how pretty and how fluffy the rice turns out. See? Let me show you a fried pork chunk. So if you like this video please please click like and subscribe to my videos. We will be trying to post weekly videos about Puerto Rican cooking and you can find me at Facebook at Sweets and Beyond or at Twitter Sweets and Beyond. Thank you for watching.